Hey, what's up? This is um, Robert again. We're gonna be going through the installation process of Asterix from Source this time on top of an Ubuntu 9.10 server. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be very easy, as you see. A lot of dependencies to download, so the installation process may take some time depending on your internet connection. Um, we have our Ubuntu server uh, that we installed last time. It's the same virtual machine that uh, we're gonna be using. Uh, so let me just um, get down to business and start um, pulling my terminal on uh, SSH into the server. I already have downloaded some of the um, prerequisites in the meantime, so the uh, installation process is not going to be as long. But um, I'm going to show you everything that you're going to need to get installed for this to work. So first off, we're going to go to our user source folder. Uh, here you can see I already downloaded the tar file from Asterix, but um, that's the first step you want to for the the installation procedure. You want to go to the um, Asterix.org download site, uh, look for whatever version of Asterix you're going to install. In this case, we're running the cutting edge latest and greatest 1.8, then copy the down the um, the link for it, and then you can uh, use all you get to copy and paste link and start the the um, download process first off you need to put in your sudo cape because this directory doesn't belong to you so um, if you do your double get uh, you're gonna start downloading the file it's about 26 max or so so let me just cancel it for now and we're gonna re remove the remnant that we created Um, now we're gonna take care of the dependencies. We need a few dependencies to, to compile the um, the files from source. Um, the first one is gonna be GCC. We need to have the uh, uh, the GCC compiler and the G++ extension. Um, so I already have the latest and greatest version. Um, that's the first dependency you wanna put in there. Um, second, you want to have um, N curses both um, the vase version and the lib and curses 5 dep dependencies oh. okay so as you can see I already have that as well and um, now you want to have the leave xml2 and uh, leave xml2 developer package okay when you have those three dependencies um, you wanna install as well this is the last one I promise this leave new 0.552 along with the leap new tab um, these are used for the menu select uh, we're gonna use later with asterisk um, so you can see this one I didn't have it installed so let's just give it a minute uh, to download it and get installed. Okay, so we should be all set by now. So let's just play it a little here. So we're gonna anchor press the tar file. Okay. And uh, this created our folder for asterisk. So we're gonna go into our asterisk folder. And um, you can see we have a menu select file. Um, the first step we're gonna run a configure. So we're gonna run the configure script and it's gonna start checking all the dependencies before it. If you need to install daddy or leave is a seven or another dependency that you need um like the addons that gotta be installed before asterisk. No I addon does not need to be installed before but for example like daddy or um Saptel or leave as a seven that needs to be before asterisk. So in those cases you wanna make the corresponding make a menu select before it 
okay so once you get to this symbol you can see that um, it was successful completed menu select um, you can see your architecture and all the different options you're gonna compile with uh, you want to review it and make sure that um, you don't have any problem before that feel free but so far it's looking good so now we're gonna make menu select so we're gonna start compiling the menu select option uh, we come to this nice looking screen um, where we select everything that we want to build a few things here um, everything that is mic when an asterisk is going to be installed uh, if you want to uninstall something for whatever reason just uh, use the enter to install selected or unselected um, whenever you come across this uh, options um, have these X's is because they're not they're not supported with your uh, current architecture or you don't meet the prerequisites for it so for example you can see it depends on like to have uh, the application MySQL you need to have a MySQL client installed so by the moment the menu select was built that dependency was not met and therefore you cannot select it or your CDR MySQL from your add-ons section you cannot select that because it depends on your MySQL client as well you may found that did all this only shows one dependency you install it you build your menu select and you come here and you still need another dependency so there's a few things uh, back and forth that you need to go uh, to get this over with like for example for your call detail record you can only select your um, CSB custom and manager uh, components you cannot select your ODBC because it requires REST ODBC package and your progress SQL relies on progress and your radius relies on radius and your SQL light and so on and so forth um, for example your Chan Daddy relies on Daddy to be installed first and can use PRI or SS7 uh, your GTOC relies on IKSML and some others so it's gonna be pretty much a, a base installation uh, as you can see there's a lot of um, components put into this if if you need if you know you don't need skinny or you don't need MCP or you don't need Ike's or any of other protocols uh, feel free to unselect them just don't compile the modules um, that will give you a small base code and a small full print installation but if you're gonna use it as your lab environment just select as much many modules as you want and then just tell asterisk not to load them into memory um, that, that's another option uh, for your codex you can see that you have um, most of the codex available your specs relies on specs before your daddy relies on on that as well. Uh, notice you don't have G729. G729 re requires a royalty uh, to asterisk to Digium actually. So um, you do have the format though. Okay, so you can select. So um, we're just gonna pretty much leave this as a default. We're not gonna mess too much with this. So we're gonna just go over to the save and exit section, and uh, that'll save all the different changes we make. Now we're ready to begin the the installation process, so we can uh, just perform a make. So that's gonna take whatever we define from the menu select and start building it. And this is gonna take some time. Let me just make some room in the meantime. Okay, it's moving pretty fast now. Okay. 
is already at the format section which is one of the very last sections now it's compiling all the different resources Most of these components you're seeing here being compiled are going to be the different modules and the different functions you're going to call from within the asterisk um, dialog. Okay, so it was successfully built. Now we can run uh, make install to actually install it. So deploy all the different modules in place and. Uh, we have it installed. Now you can start creating every single configuration file from here or you can just uh, at this point create the samples and create the configurations that may config as well and um, now asterisk belongs to the initd so if we look into our initd folder you're gonna see you have asterisk option now so, for example, we can restore it, asterisk. So, we started. Okay, now let's check on our processes to make sure it started. Okay, yeah, we have it running. Okay. Now, the modules of asterisk, if I remember correctly, are stored under bar lib. Uh, no, they're stored under user lib. Yep. Okay, so you go under the modules. You can do an ls, and this is going to be all the different modules that you built. Um, if you need to build another module later on, you can always go to the menu select, add the new feature, and go to the recompile process. So that's why it's a good option to to install them at the beginning. Um, now that asterisk is running, you may run into this problem. If you just type in asterisk, it's already going to be running on a c resource file. So you want to use asterisk with the reconnect keyword. This is going to take you to the CLI of asterisk. Once you're here, you can do many of the commands that asterisk has. Uh, the syntax is quite unique. Um, you're gonna start with mo with with the module name and then use the different module options. In this case, for example, we're gonna use the core module. So we can do a core show app time, which tells us how long the asterisk running the asterisk server has been running. Um, if you just do a tap after the core, you see all the different options that you have. So for example, you can do a core show and then you have a lot of other options. So for example, you can do a core show version. Um, 1.3, built by root on this platform. For example, you can do a core show calls. See how many calls you have active and being processed. So you have a fully functional asterisk server by now. Uh, with a quit, you can go off the asterisk CLI and let's see an add stat. Okay, let's do a As you can see, we have a, now a lot more ports open. We have a port 5000. We have port 5060. 
27-27 and 50-20. This belongs to zip. This belongs to X. This belongs to zip. This belongs to MGCP. This belongs to skinny. And um, if, for example, you use the option program. you can see that all these ports has now been opened by asterisk if you want to tune how many ports you have open because of security concerns or performance or whatever you can unload the modules from asterisk if you go into the asterisk server again and you do a core show modules to see how many modules you have in memory uh, it's actually module show you can see all the different modules that you have in memory by default it's about 180 different modules that are built and being put into memory so as you can see there's a lot of things to say the least that you may not want to use um, what you need and what you don't need is based on experience most of the time you can start unloading modules and if something breaks then you know you need them or you can uh, take a more um, research approach and see what every module does and whether you need it or not um, this is defined within the the asterisk main folder which is etc asterisk here you're gonna see all your different configuration files you have all your comp files that we're gonna be going into in detail later on um, the one that interests you for this purpose is the modules file so you can see this option auto load yes what this is gonna do is just load every single module that is held inside the user lib folder I show you before and load them um, you can use some keywords like no load just never to load them in memory or you can use load if you disable the auto load to force them to go into memory so by tuning this file you can decide what module gets loaded or not and what modules end up opening a port or not uh, we're gonna be going into that into the later videos for asterisk configuration by now we have an asterisk 1.8 server installed from source and ubuntu server it's pretty much the same installation process and in other platforms uh, debian Sarge, or you call it um, so we're gonna have more um, details on the channel so just stay tuned Thanks for watching.